So for those of you who don't know, which is basically all of you, except one, I moved to the US for my undergrad studies. And of course, when you move to a new place, a new country, you see many different changes and different kind of culture shocks. So in this video, I'll talk about my first 10, ex first 10 days experience in the US. Also, I've lived in the US before, so the culture shock wasn't that intense for me. But yes, there were a lot of new things over here. And so I'm going to discuss about all of that. So let's right get to it. Let's get right to it. So the first thing is that Hollywood is not an accurate depiction of the US, just like Bollywood is not an accurate depiction of India. Otherwise, we'd all be dancing to item songs. The thing is, many people believe that, oh, kids in America, they party all the time, they hang out with their friends, they go to Starbucks every day. Okay, that one might be true. But the thing is that there are a lot of talented, hardworking and sincere people over here. They like to prioritize things and they like to keep everything in limits. And all of those previously said things aren't true. The second thing is that people give a lot of importance to courtesy. So you will be saying, thank you, you're welcome, please very often and even if you just hold the door open for someone they'll say thank you and you'll say you're welcome and have a nice day ahead it's a really sweet thing the third thing is what i call the walmart experience so almost any foreigner or indian who goes to america has this walmart experience where they go to walmart and they are stunned by how much stuff there is I mean, before going to Walmart, I didn't know that these many types of bread could actually exist. One of my professors told me that Walmart is probably the only place where you can buy a tire and a tomato. The third thing, or possibly the fourth thing, I don't remember, is that kids here are very independent. They work two part-time jobs while also studying. They live in their own apartment. They sometimes have their own cars. They have their own dreams and aspirations. And that's a really exciting thing to see. Okay, the fifth, or the fourth thing, I don't remember, okay, is that people wear whatever they want. And I mean it as a good thing. If you walk into any general stores over here, you see people wearing so many different types of clothes. You see people in their office attire, people in their sportswear, and people who look like they just got up from their bed and decided to go shopping. Uh, I can't really think of a next thing, so I think I'm gonna end it over here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!